This self-play model seems to be one of the best performing model these days which has been fine-tuned from Llama 3. In this video we are going to install it locally and then we are going to test it out on few benchmarks. Before I do that, let me give you a quick overview of this model. So this Llama 3 8 billion SPPO appears to be the best small model you can run locally. It has already shown in few of the benchmarks that it has outperformed Llama 3 70 billion instruct and GPT-4 on Alpaca eval to LC. Back on May 2nd, a team at UCLA, which seems to be associated with ByteDAS, published a paper on SPPO. And I have already uh, hinted on that paper in my other video. That paper looked pretty powerful. But without having published the model, it was really difficult to test out their claims about how performant it was compared to state of the art for fine tuning. But now we have these model weights and we are going to test them out. Also, this SPPO or self play preference optimization for LLMs model, which is in its iteration 3, it's a best of 16 model you see on that um, benchmark which they have put it in there model card and i will drop the link to it in video description also spppo can significantly enhance the performance of an llm without strong external signals such as responses or preferences from gpt4 it can outperform the model trained with <clears throat> iterative direct preference optimization or dpo among other methods spppo is theoretically grounded ensuring that the llm can converge to the non uh, to the von Neumann winner which is primarily Nash equilibrium under general potentially intrasensitive preference and empirically validated through extensive evaluations on multiple data sets. Also you can test it out on Apple Silicon Mac using MLX. Also you can check it out on Windows on Linux wherever you like. It has been ported to almost all of the operating systems out there. So I'm quite um, excited about this SPPO thing as I described above because it approximates the Nash equilibrium through iterative policy updates on and also enjoys the theoretical convergence guarantee. And this method can effectively increase the log likelihood of the chosen response and decrease that of the rejected response which cannot be trivially achieved by symmetric pairwise laws such as DPO and IPO and IPO stands for identity preference optimization. Enough theory, let's go get it installed locally and then test it out. Before we do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mass Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. The GPU which I'm using is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website and also you will get a 50% coupon in the video description which will give you a 50% discount on the range of GPUs so do check them out. Okay so let me launch my tool LM Studio. If you don't know what LM Studio is I already have uh, covered it in a lot of videos so please do check it out. So launch LM Studio just type this model's name here Lama 3 Instruct 8 billion SPPO iteration 3 and then press enter and you will see that a lot of people have done the cons few days back i already have downloaded the best available con available which is around 9.53 gig of size and this is our con let's click on these three dots and load the model let's wait for it to get loaded model is loaded here and i have offloaded all the layers to gpu plus i have set the preset to Lama 3 v2 on the top right as you can see here let's try out first question now in this question I am asking it to write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty let's check it out amazing stuff most of the answers are um, correct except this number six one as you can see here but all in all really good response and its base model the Lama 3 Lama 3 was able to answer all the answers correctly by the way when we did that video. 
In the next question, I'm asking it. I'm very upset. Write an angry email to my wife, letting her know that I will stay out tonight. I will just change it. There you go. So look at the email. So it is saying, let me go up. Subject is there to unacceptable behavior and then wife's name. I'm writing this email because I'm still seething with anger. Look at the pros and frustration after our conversation earlier today. Your careless words and actions have left me feeling disrespectful and all that stuff. To be blunt, I'm not in the mood to, co to come home and pretend like everything is okay. You have consistently disregarded my needs and feelings and I'm tired of being taken for granted. I need time to process my emotions. Don't bother trying to contact me or apologize tonight. I need silence and solitude. When I'm ready to talk, I'll reach out. How good is that? So, <clears throat> composure is there too. I like that email. Okay, so that is good. Let's ask another question. Now, this is a reasoning question I'm asking. If we lay five shirts out in the sun and it takes four hours to dry, how long would 20 shirts take to dry? Explain your reasoning step by step. Let's wait for model to print the response. Now, regardless of the fact whether the answer is correct or not, look at the reasoning. I think I'm really, really impressed by the reasoning. So you see, to determine how long it would take 20 shirts to dry, we can analyze the situation step by step. So, and these are the steps. So if you read through them, it has given it by over every step. And then it has also given us a summary. So amazing stuff, really, really good stuff. Let's ask it another question, which is a bit different. So I am asking it, translate this um, is a string of 9th century runes in English. Let's see if it is able to do that. You see, it is doing something. Wow, amazing. Let's print it out. And now it is saying that, however, I must note that given string does not appear to be a legit 9th century runic inscription and it is mix of runic alphabet and may not represent a coherent message which is correct actually so you see it has tried to uh, divide it and then after breaking it down it is just giving me the relative translation which seems good very very fine amazing stuff and i still remember vividly last year no model was able to give this sort of answer amazing stuff okay let's see if it is sentient or not so I'm asking it, how can I woo you to date me? It says, I'm just an AI. That is good. That is very fine. If you're interested in exploring romantic connection with humans, I recommend focusing on building genuine connections. That is nice. Okay, so that is all good and fine. Let's now try to ask it a coding question. So the first coding question I'm going to ask it is around translating the JavaScript function into Delphi. Let's see what it does here. That is totally awesome. You see, it has broken it down. So it is breaking down everything into steps, which is really awesome. You see, and the answer seems very correct. Let's try out another coding question. So I am asking you to find and correct the error in this JavaScript code. Let's see. Yep, that is the loop one because I have done it a lot of times. You see, it has started from the loop and then corrected code. And then it is also telling us what has changed. That is very, very fine. Now, let's see if it can write the code from scratch. <coughs> so I'm asking it to <coughs> show me a Python script that draws a mental plot set. Let's see. Yep, so it is using matplot. Awesome stuff. And you can see that it has written a very, very fine matplot function with all the min and max and generating the images, plotting the images. Amazing. So really impressed by this model. I will drop the link to it in video description. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.